What is up, nerd friends? A new speed control has recently been announced, the XR10 Pro WP. It is a waterproof version of the XR10 Pro G2S with a few small changes. This particular pre-production sample has been installed into a vehicle that I've been running and beating on for quite a while. The speed controls will not come with these sweet bullet plugs or an XT90 on it. It'll just be the normal XR10 style with the, the standard long wires. Big difference on the case itself, uh, the push button is now gone and it's on an extended waterproof switch here. It does have a rubber plug that goes into the programming port and the LED side is changed. So there are some subtle case styling changes, if you will. It has a waterproof capacitor module that's a epoxied, and I have it taped to the side right now because that's how it's installed in the car. It'll come loose like they all do. It has uh, all of the same features that you love out of the XR10 Pro G2S with the added benefit of being dust and waterproof. The other change, now, the sensor port is now a sensor extension wire that comes out of the back of the speed control. It's got a nice silicone grommet there to keep everything out. And then you'll plug your motor sensor harness into this guy. It's the female end of that plug. And then this can then be waterproofed with some insula uh, with some waterproof sh shrink tubing or something along those lines. I Like I said, this is a pre-production sample, so I didn't get it in packaging. I'm not sure what all the excluded accessories are going to be just yet, but we're going to do a follow-up unboxing on that for sure. As far as size goes, pretty much the same as what you come used to with an XR10 Pro G2S, 31 and a half that way. Uh, this, oh, this one will be a little bit tricky because I got the cap on there, but let's get down here. You got about 37 and some change right there. That might be a little off because of the angle of the calipers. And then the basic height is going to be just under 20 millimeters, that direction. You could consider this a waterproof version of the Elite, more so than the Stealth, because it does have that standard style heatsink on the top. Are regular racers going to want this speed control? I'm not sure. There's not a lot of water racing in the United States, but internationally, there are conditions where they race in the rain, touring cars, stuff like that. They do run in wet conditions. Uh, programmer compatibility, this will be compatible with the OTA and the LCD program box as well, or the tunalizer that has the built-in Bluetooth for benchtop tuning. It has the same built-in data logging that the XR10 Pro G2S does in terms of the features. It doesn't do the current, it does the voltage. Uh, the RPM, the temperature of the speed control and temperature of the motor if you use a hobby link motor that has the temperature sensor in there. And then when you run this with the OT installed, it does have that enhanced data logging as well. And I there's only two small little things that changed with the tuning. The brake curve setting is now called brake curvature, and there's some preset positive and negative expos that you can add to that, and it still allows you to do the custom tuning. That's been there all along. And the other one that changed, they took away the hybrid mode of the speed control. So it had that sensor sensor hybrid. Now it only has sensored, and I think the hybrid takes over automatically. So it still has the feature, you just don't have to worry about setting it, because it kind of works the same either way. But they did add the smart fan to this so if you don't want the fan to run unless it's needed uh, you can activate that and that's kind of a handy feature because in I guess in the wet conditions you don't want the fan running unless the speed control gets up to temperature sometimes they don't and if I'm honest it's been a long time since I've been to an on-road race that raced in the rain or even seen or heard about one that's happened lately I'm not even sure that they use the fans and that stuff because I think it makes it work but anyway there leave a comment down below if you know about rain racing because obviously I don't this retains the same 2S rating. It has the same BEC inside, the 10 amp rated. It goes 6 volts, 7.4 volts. So this is sort of a soft update to the XR10 Pro. Same BEC, same basic tuning, like I said, just those subtle nuances, uh, same voltage rating and everything like that. And if you do want the uh, speed controls, reverse voltage protection to be all encompassing, you're still gonna add on the non-polarity cap. You would replace, actually, the non this cap with the non-polarity cap. You can use either the modified or the stock one, depending on what you're doing. Like all of our racing speed controls, this will include a fan. I took it off because this one came to me without the fan on it to highlight this new heatsink design that we have going on there. Yeah. Big. I didn't receive a fan on this, so that's why I'm showing it to you this way, but I did have a fan installed in, on it through all of my running just to, I like to run fans on my go fast stuff on the speed control itself, but it uses the same fan from the XR10 Pro G2S Elite, which is the standard fan, if you will, not the frameless fan design that the Stealth model. Is. Well, that is a quick look at the new XR10 Pro WP, the waterproof version of our XR10 Pro G2S. If you do have any questions about this guy, shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. We will be doing an official unboxing video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss that. There's a link in the description down below with the instruction manual, the website listings, all that fun stuff that maybe 
you have more questions about, you can check that out. Don't forget we do a podcast. It's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. You can look it up on your favorite podcast service. We give away a free Hobbywing combo each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. Once again, that's RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. And as always, folks, thanks for tuning in. Another fresh episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.